Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to all. Hi, I'm Mr. Haikal. How are you today? I hope that all of you are as fit as a fiddle. Hashtag stay at home. Hashtag stay safe. Hashtag stay healthy. All right, boys and girls, we have just celebrated the 64th Independence Day last week on 31st of August. And as for today, please turn to page 113 on your textbook, year 6 textbook, Land of Glory, Unit 12, Land of Glory. Alright, open your textbook now. 113, 113, Land of Glory, Unit 12. You could see two good Nagara there. Good. Okay, boys and girls. Have you seen, have you ever seen this monument? What is it called? Where is it? Why do you think it was built? Okay, have you seen this Tugunagara before? Where is it? Is it in Kappa? Is it in Klang? Is it in Shah Alam? Is it in Kuala Lumpur? In Kuala Selangor? Okay, so turn to the next page, 114. There are information about it. Okay, I'm going to read you the text. Okay, listen to me. It will, it will help you to answer the following exercise. Okay, ready? Page 114. Listen to the conversation. The National Monument, better known as Tugunagara, was built to honor the heroic men who fought for the country's peace and freedom. The 15-meter bronze monument is located in Kuala Lumpur. It was the brainchild of Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Ahaj, the first Prime Minister of Malaysia, and was sculpted by Felix de Weldon. The monument has seven figures. These figures symbolize leadership, suffering, unity, vigilance, strength, courage and sacrifice. A ceremony is held annually on Warriors Day, 31st July to mark the nation's respect for the fallen heroes. The ceremony is attended by Duli Yang Mahamulia, Yang Di Pertuan Agung, the Prime Minister and the Head of the Royal Malaysian Armed Forces. Okay, so you have got some information about Tugu Negara. Right, about the monument that you have seen on page 113. So your task is first, complete the table below. Facts about the national monument. Name of the structure, height, man of what, idea by whom, sculptor, number of figures, and also attendees of the ceremony. Okay? All the answers can be found in the conversation just now, in the text above it. So you just need to transfer the information from the text, right, into the table. Okay, so in your exercise book, you copy down the table, facts about the national monument. So you write there the name of the structure, then your answer, height, man of what, idea by whom, sculptor, number of figures, and also attendees during the ceremony. Okay, let us do two. Okay, two of it. The first one, name of the structure. Tugu Negara. Right, okay, good. The height, 15 meter. All right, the rest you do yourself. Okay, next, turn to the next page. Page 115. Aside from building a monument, what other ways can we show our love and appreciation for our country, asked the teacher on top, yeah? And then the girl answered, We can show our love and appreciation for our country by celebrating National Day every year. National Day, when is it? 31st of August. Right. Okay. So now let's talk about the national flag. Okay, national flag. Bandera Malaysia. A. What is the national flag of Malaysia called? 
na 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 na. <laughs> Alright. So the answer is Jalur Gemila. Okay, so you write your answer. Okay, copy down this exercise also in your exercise book. Okay, B. How many stripes, stripes, Jalur are there on the flag? Okay, do your counting yourself, yeah? Next, C. What do the stripes symbolize? All the stripes. What does it symbolize? Okay, what do all the stripes symbolize? Okay, alright. States. <laughs> Next, D. What do the colors on the flag represent? Yellow represent what? Blue, red, and also white. This one you can Google for the answer. Okay, you can Google for Malaysian flag. Red color is for what? Represent what? Yellow represents what? Okay, and the last one. Why are we encouraged to fly the national flag on our national day? Why we are encouraged? Okay, why it is advisable, it's good for us to fly the Jalur Gemilang on a national day. To show our love and appreciation towards the country. Okay, I'm helping you a lot, yeah, today. So, that's basically for today. There are two exercises. The first one is on page 114. Okay, you copy down the table and do it in your exercise book. Find the answer from the text above. Next, on page 115. Okay, you do on national flag. Okay, exercise one. Let's talk about the national flag. A, B, C, D, E. Okay, write your answer. I guess you can do it. Okay, spend some time to complete all the tasks given. All the best, everyone. Take care. Selamat Hari Merdeka. Right, recently. And have a good day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye-bye.